one for you today. Let's talk about what Christine said in the podcast with Heather McDonald. Here we go. All right, so we go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth about Robin and why did Robin really come into this family? Now, I have read on Reddit, I think it was, or was it a YouTube video? I don't remember. So this is secondhand. I don't have proof of this, but apparently there was a close relative of David Jessup who said that Robin just reaches for what she thinks she can't get or fame or money. They imply she's quite shallow. Oh my God, no way. And this is because David Jessup was in a relationship with Robin's sister. Robin pulls him away from her sister and then gets pregnant. So she locked him down, kept him away from her sister, didn't she? So then they go ahead and get married and then she eventually dumps him. Well, the timing of dumping him is interesting because, and again, this is secondhand. I typically don't try to share too much secondhand information on this channel. I like to just do reviews of the show, but this is background information for this particular question, and this isn't a show review. So what I've heard is that typically in the AUB faith, if you were to have a divorce, which doesn't happen that often, you go back and live with your family. Robin didn't go back and live with her family. She moved to be closer to Cody, who was in talks with TLC for production. Now, I know development on these shows take a long time. So it could have been years that they were actually talking and working things back. I don't know how long the process took. And Christine never gave any specific dates. But according to David Jessup's family, as soon as Robin caught wind, she was done with David. She saw dollar signs with Cody, somebody who apparently liked her in the past, but she'd have nothing to do with Cody because he was dirt poor. But then the hope and promise of a TLC show, fame, fortune, came upon them, which is going to be a separate video. And Robin is surprisingly interested. Interested to the point that she takes her three kids and she moves to an apartment that's just a few hours away. Because she lived in a whole different state. She arranged for her cousin, who she wasn't that close with, to take her to events where Cody was. And she ran into him there. And they eventually fell in love. Also, can I just say... I haven't heard anyone talk about this or post about this. Then again, I don't follow a lot of stuff. But I was shocked as I was doing a rewatch of some of the episodes when they were moving Robin into the rental house that was like within a mile of them in Lehigh because there was no room for her inside the Lehigh house. Did you see the home she moved out of? Apparently, she lived in a trailer this whole time with the three kids and her husband. She leaves her husband, and how did she get this beautiful house rental? It was a beautiful house. It was a house I'd love. I don't get it. When I saw them moving this time, I thought, well, this is confusing. I thought she was dirt poor. Had to use a propane heater to just heat up the trailer. Didn't have much money, which is ironic because they show pictures. She shares pictures of their Christmas and they had quite a few presents and the Barbie dream house at like expensive things. They seem to have a nicer Christmas than my kids had and my husband had a steady income as an educator. But we know she's really, really poor with money. All right, that's been established clearly. And the fact that the courts made her take the $30,000 worth of debt that was on the credit cards, which was I guess mostly on a Victoria's Secret credit card. So yeah, that would be her debt. I don't even know how you can come up with $10,000 worth of Victoria's Secret stuff. I mean, I have a couple bras and underwear, but not $10,000. And I usually get them when I get the coupon in the mail for a free pair. <laughs> oh, because you're so cheap. <laughs> I mean, we live in two different worlds. I just, I can't relate. 
I can't relate. Living on a budget, living within my means, it's something I've done my whole life. So I can't relate. So, okay, she manages to get herself within a couple hours an apartment, doesn't move back in with mom, has $30,000 worth of debt, but is now somehow being able to rent this really nice house that's nearby Cody within a few hours of him. Hey guys, welcome. Come on in. We're just packing up the house. Cody and family are going to be here tonight and we're going to be packing up trucks tomorrow and going to be moving. This show, this television show will be a humongous shock to like all of my high school class and anybody that knew me because I actually... They're going to finish up their last couple days. She's actually going to be on the bus in a little while, huh? We're going to go to the couple last days at your old school? Yeah. I'm here to help. Maybe it's just more of like just actually sticking on the truck and then I start feeling like it's actually... And then they attend functions, they start dating, and of course, we know the rest of the story. So how does this come into play with the TLC show? Well, Christine shared that the TLC show talks were actually in the more advanced stage by the time Robin came into the family. So she knew about it. She knew about it. And this is what David Jessup's family shared as well. Everybody in the AUB church knew about it. I had heard... They got kicked out of the church because of the show, that the AUB didn't like it. Somebody else wrote in my comments that was completely untrue, that they were 100% in support of it. I don't know. And then somebody else mentioned in 2017 they were excommunicated from the church. So they not only don't attend, they were told goodbye. <laughs> so maybe they were open to the idea at the start, but... After they got on camera, the church pretty much said, yeah, you're not representing us the way we thought you would. Go find yourself another faith. And at that time, Christine's dad also stepped down. Actually, I don't know if he stepped down right when they were excommunicated. I don't know. But he was the head of their sect. He wasn't the head. I keep saying the head of the AUB church. And, and uh, that's not what I mean. Like, I don't mean the head of the whole AUB for the country or the world. I mean, their sect he was in charge of, he was the leader, and he stepped down from that position. This isn't supposed to be a historical informational channel. I'm just sharing the little bits of knowledge that I have. If you want to fill it in down below, that's great. The point is, in all of this, as I go on and on and on and sharing rant, random bits of knowledge that are in my head. Robin did express interest in the family after they were already in talks with TLC. Thank you, Christine, for clarifying for us. I mean, most of us thought that, but now we know for sure. So when the show started, it started with you guys having Robin about to join. We never mm -hmm. saw a season without Robin. Right. She, like episode two, she's in episode two, right at the very, very beginning she um, was part of our family. So when when she first started talking, coming into the family, it was around the same time that the producer and, uh, and we were having a conversation about doing the show. So we talked with her. We talked with her about it, too. And she it took her a while. It took her a while. Come on, let me think about that. Yes, that'll work. Well, you know, it, it's a lot. It's a lot to process. And we'd already been thinking about it for a little while. But she agreed to be part of the show as well. But it was the same time that we went public. So she was on board the whole time. That's our short topic we're covering for today. I have another short topic I will cover next time. Yeah! Have a great day.